Welcome to the AR-15 channel. Wait, no. AR-15 guy channel. Fourth Amendment Tuesday. Wait, no. We're just going to go over the Fourth Amendment. So, I've done one through three now. Um, the Fourth Amendment, um, like I said last week, kind of goes in um, with the Third Amendment. Um, and... Uh, I think has some relevance to the Third Amendment as far as the ability of placing a soldier in your home um, um, without you saying okay. This kind of follows that guideline of that whole the Fourth Amendment is against search and seizure, uh, unlawful search and seizure of property um, and uh, has a big play in like the Patriot Act. Um, so let me go ahead and read um, the Fourth Amendment verbatim. Um, as I have in the previous ones, and then we'll kind of discuss it from there. So, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the person or things to be seized alright so there's a lot of there's a lot of what people would call gray area especially like referring to the Patriot Act um, and because the Patriot Act does two things allows wiretapping so they can listen into your conversations um, and it also allows the ability for law enforcement to write their own um, search or their own warrants I believe it's search warrants so there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, frustration with the Patriot Act um, I'm not a big fan of the Patriot Act uh, I think that if you can't come up with probable cause um, without doing warrantless wiretaps um, and without having a judge affirm that it's a worthwhile uh, search or seizure then it's then they're clearly breaking the 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 fourth amendment right and so there's some you know there's some fuss out there where okay does law enforcement have the ability and the right to uh, to write their own warrants and I don't think they do I think that uh, a judge takes an oath and and uh, with that oath is the ability comes with the responsibility of writing um, uh, warrants based on information provided uh, I don't think that a a law enforcement official or homeland security official um, should be able to just uh, oh you know what he looks a certain way he acts a certain way he carries a certain style briefcase or um, or he carries a gun into his house or or whatever the case may be so that's going to be probable cause I think probable cause is going to be the the intent um, of doing harm or causing uh, or breaking the law um, you know somebody carrying a gun doesn't mean they have intent to break the law somebody carrying drugs they have intent in breaking the law so I think that um, I think that the plain definition of that is is that judges should be the only ones writing um, warrants, and both arrest warrants and um, uh, house warrants and that sort of thing. And I believe that uh, that uh, the courts should see all the evidence before issuing those warrants, whether it's a wiretap um, or or whatever the case may be. I think that. Uh, that that it should be should be a third party that isn't necessarily involved so to speak um, being able to take all of the information and making that decision um, 
you know, they, there's that whole thing, well, you know, you may not have time to act upon that. And I don't necessarily think that's the case. I think that in any circumstance, um, they would be able to, to take care of that without it. We went um, hundreds of years without that ability. I, I don't think that in the Patriot Act um, has proven that, that those things um, have been productive. So anyway, uh, give me your thoughts and ideas. Um, this one has been a highly contested um, amendment over the years as to what its meaning is and, and what are the gray areas. Um, but I honestly believe that, uh, you know, like I said, the Third Amendment kind of helps this one along, um, not being able to put a soldier in, in somebody's house without them their permission, um, kind of gives that way to that Fourth Amendment of, um, of somewhat of, of a privacy. So anyway, guys, uh, leave some comments, let me know what you think, um, any questions you might have, um, you know, like I said, I don't uh, claim to be a constitutional scholar. I'm just kind of giving my ideas to, to what I think of each individual amendment, giving a, a true reading of what each amendment is, and then kind of giving my interpretation of that as a layman's interpretation, so to speak. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great week.